Welcome back to the channel. I love getting good games for cheap. Viewers can see that each and every week through my series of videos covering those sales on the eShop. While digital is great, I love having physical games too. And luckily, the Switch is easy to get physical games for since there's a lot of good stuff that's getting cheaper and cheaper to get. It has been a while since my last one, but I finally got off my butt and assembled a brand new list of cheap physical Switch games for you to check out. These are all awesome games in my opinion, and worthy additions to your Switch collection. No game on this list goes for higher than $25 tops on average, new or used, at the time of making this video, based on prices on PriceCharting.com and my own personal experience. Just for reference, when I mean used, I mean the game with the case. And if for some reason you want any of these games as card only, you crazy crazy person you, then you can pretty much normally deduct about 5 bucks off the used price average in this video. With that said, let's dive right in. So hang on, make sure to subscribe to the channel to tell you about 10 awesome physical games that are cheap to get for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> The first game I have on today's list is one of my favorite arcade racers for the Switch. This is an updated port of the arcade game, and it features some truly zany, over-the-top racing action. I mean, you get to race as a freaking dinosaur, and a unicorn. This game does not limit itself. Crazy stuff going on in the background, as well as on the racetrack. And speaking of the tracks, they often change during the race, and that just adds to the fun chaos. The racing is easy to understand, so it makes for a great party game too, to get others in on local multiplayer. It captures the arcade spirit, I love it! It's also very cheap to get too. It can be had for around $24 new, and often, you'll see it on sale for $20. And if you go the used route, it can be had for around $22 to $20 as well. Also, it's a Switch exclusive, so those who collect Switch games, take note of that. Before I move on with the rest of the list, those who buy physical Switch games, feel free to sound off in the comments on some cheap physical games that you recommend getting. I'm looking forward to seeing those suggestions. I really like Monkey Ball Banana Mania. It's a remake of the first three entries in the Super Monkey Ball series, which are the best ones in my opinion. If you've never played any of these games before, just know that it's an arcade-like puzzle game where your goal is to guide the monkey and the ball to a goal. As you progress further, the stages get increasingly harder in difficulty and craziness. I love the games on the GameCube, and this one captures that spirit. Because it's a remastered collection of the first three games in the series, it has a massive amount of stages, plus a bunch of party games, and even new stuff like new characters to play as. It's a great party game too, make sure to get others in on the fun. It's a pretty packed game, and of course, cheap to get too. New copies can be had for around 20 bucks. If you want to go the used route, it's going for roughly the same price. Kiwi is a co-op game where you play as Kiwi Birds tasked with running a post office. The game is made up of various mini-games that has you doing things like prepping and sending off packages, or fending off flies, or decoding secret messages. There's a good amount of variety, and because of how it's designed, it makes for a great local multiplayer game. You have to work as a team to deal with all the craziness and chaos to get those high scores and earn stamps to trade in for new goodies like costumes. New copies can be found for around 19 bucks, with used copies going for much cheaper at $13 or so. Those are perfect prices for some good co-op fun. If you love TCGs or card games, then you need to get Shadowverse Champions Battle for the Switch. The card game mechanics are easy to pick up on, matches are fast to play, and most of all, it's a lot of fun. You don't need to buy any DLC or packs. Everything you need to play can be earned in the game itself. It's like a modern version of the old Pokemon game from the Game Boy era. Not good at deck building? Don't worry, you can unlock pre-built decks as you play. It's a really fun game. I feel lots overlooked this game. It is a hidden gem. In fact, I did cover it in my Hidden Gem series, which you can check out via the links down below in the description box and in the comments. Anyway, if you want to get it for your Switch physical collection, it can be had for around $23 new, 
and around used for 20 bucks. Switch collectors take note, this is an exclusive game too, you can't find this anywhere else. The next game is one I personally bought recently for very cheap. Fire Emblem Warriors is a hack and slash game, a Warriors game developed by Koi Tecmo that features many characters from the Nintendo series. While yes it is a warrior style game, it does take a lot of elements and aspects of the traditional turn based strategy series and made it work as a hack and slash. I got to admit, it's a lot of fun to mow down all the troops and play with famous characters of the series in a different way than what I'm used to. Anyway, it's one of the few games on the Switch that has a Nintendo license that goes for pretty cheap and you know how rare that can be. This one on average goes for $24 new and for used it goes for around $20. Heck, the copy I just bought for myself recently was $20 used a few weeks ago, so they are definitely out there. Just be careful sometimes, sellers try to overcharge in this one. Just be patient, and you can definitely score a copy for under $25. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition contains two games, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. These are really fun JRPGs and quite possibly the best Digimon games ever made. Collecting and leveling up and involving monsters is fast, fun, and addicting. A lot of these monster collecting games are tedious, but these games solve a lot of those issues, and at no point did I feel like the game dragged. There's a good story here too, and it takes a few nods from the Persona games, while still keeping it PG rated. For the most part anyway. Also, all the DLC and updates have been included with these games, so they really are the complete experiences. The Switch got an exclusive physical release as a dual pack, and that currently can be found for around $24 new, often for $20 flat, and used for around the same price. In terms of value, few games can actually beat Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. It's got so many missions, so much content, that to complete it all, you'll need hundreds of hours to do so. That's before you download any of the free updates the game had. It's bonkers. This game acts like a greatest hits of sorts of the older Monster Hunter games before Monster Hunter World. With that said, it's a bit old school compared to something like Rise. It is a little stiffer in the movements, but I feel there's enough interesting mechanics and such that differs from the later games that I'm sure to keep things interesting enough for any new player to it. This can be had for cheap, around $19 new, and around $16 or so used. Also, this is a Switch exclusive too, so bonus points there. Persona 5 Strikers, the other Muso or Warriors game on this list, is a gem. You got all the elements of a Persona series in this one, like gaining new Personas, leveling them up, gaining new abilities, merging the Personas, attack types, the famous monsters, it's got nearly everything. It's a fun game too, I really like how it ended up, and the Switch version is pretty competent when stacked up to the other Warriors games. Heck, its performance is a lot better than Age of Calamity. Yes, a lot better. Now this one is right on the threshold average of $25 new, but I'm sure it can be found for cheaper, and I've seen it go for $20 myself at times, and used copies can be found for around $20 bucks itself too. One of my favorite JRPGs of all time is Nino Kune, Wrath of the White Witch. The Studio Ghibli visuals, the story, the adventure, the gameplay, I think it's a masterpiece. It's a must play game if you're a JRPG fan. The Switch version is pretty darn good too. Doesn't look as good as say the remastered releases, but I feel it is an improvement over the original PS3 release for sure. This can be had for around $24 according to price charting, but I've personally seen it in stores for much less. Used, you can find it for around $18 or so. The final game on this list is a collection that for fighting fans, it's one you have to have in your collection. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection has 13 games in one collection, with one being a Switch exclusive, that being the tournament battle version of Street Fighter 2. This has games like the first Street Fighter, a ton of Street Fighter 2 versions, games from the Street Fighter Alpha series, and all three entries in the Street Fighter 3 series. It's well emulated has online support, save states, proper full control mapping, all the good stuff. In short, it's one of the best collections you can get for your Switch, especially in physical form. A new copy can be had for around 20 bucks, with used coming in around $16 or so. That's dirt cheap for a ton of well-represented games, the best Street Fighter collection ever made. And there you go, that's 10 awesome and cheap physical games to get for your Switch collection. If you're looking for more cheap physical Switch games, then make sure to check out two of my older videos in the series. 
If you don't mind digital, then make sure to check out my eShop Deals playlist, where I cover cheap eShop games on sale each and every week. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, so you can keep up to date with the latest videos, and possibly save a few bucks too. Now I'm going to go back to bed, I've been feeling a bit under the weather, so I'm going to get some rest. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.